Hi guys, it's Shadow. Today I will be releasing my renders. And it all starts with OBS first. So I use OBS and when I record, I make sure I use Game Capture and set it to my Minecraft. So make sure you don't use Display Capture. Oh fuck. <laughs> make sure you don't use Display Capture because that will definitely cause a lot of issues and your gameplay will look very choppy so don't use display capture for minecraft yeah for the output mode i use advanced then i use the nvenc encoder right here then for the rate control i use cqp with the cq level of 20. sometimes i use 18 but I've noticed it's just easier to have smaller files and have the CQ level on 20, but if you want like better quality, you can go like CQ level 18, 16, 14 is pretty much lossless. So keyframe interval I have on zero preset, make sure this is max performance. If not, you will have problems and it will not be good. Profile, set it to high. This has the best colors. Turn these two off. Set max B frames to zero and an audio channels to mono. Make sure you don't have more than one audio track or else you might have issues with stopping the recording and that's never fun. So I have my process priority set too high but some people have better results on idle so experiment with that if i was you i would set the color space to srgb or 709 and i would keep the color range on partial so in video set the downscale filter to whatever the fuck this is fastest but blurry of scaling this is where it gets tricky so set the fps value to fractional and 240 fps this is smooth but it's not as smooth as you can get it to be and the thing with 240 fps is you can use sony vegas pro 14 to edit the footage right like 240 fps is the maximum you can go you can import into sony vegas pro 14 so I will now like show a clip like what happens if you record like 300 or 360 FPS and try to put it into Vegas, it just won't work. Okay, check the frame rate right here. It's 360 FPS, so when I try to import it into Vegas, it just doesn't work. But if it's 240 FPS like this one right here, I can import it into Vegas 14. And 240 FPS is so good in Vegas 14 because what you can do is you can actually have the preview window not be super laggy. It's sort of laggy right now because I'm recording 240 FPS, but with Vegas 18, you can't do this. Okay, so here's me dragging the same clip into Vegas 18. What you'll see is no matter what I do, the preview will just be unbearably laggy and it'll be terrible to edit the video. So what you have to do is downscale all of your clips before you import them into Sony Vegas 18. And from there, you can edit the video with the downscaled clips and then, wait, let me show you. Okay, so once all of your gameplay is recorded, it'll be on your drive. Now I made a Hypixel video, for example, and I will just drag all of the clips into the Hypixel video folder and then I will have everything here and I will have the downscale command for Vegas. The reason why I have this is because with Vegas 18 there is a lot of preview lag and if I run the downscale command it'll come up with this folder and it'll have all the downscaled videos in here. So what I can do is ignore that what i can do is edit with these downscaled videos right here 
so everything will play back smoothly in Vegas 18. Blah, I make some cool edits. Right? <laughs> Just for an example. Then I'd close Vegas, and right here in the downscaled folder, I would delete all of these .sfk files, and I'd grab these like raw videos that we downscaled previously. I'd drag them to the downscaled folder and replace the files in destination. Then I will open Vegas again. And since I'm done editing, um, it'll just replace all of the downscaled files with the full res files. So like you can have your motion blur and shit. And then you can just edit the, I mean, no, you can just render the video from there and you will never have any playback issues. If you record in 240 FPS or less, then you can skip all of those steps and just edit in Vegas 14. Go over here, smart resample mode. Make sure that's set for smooth video. That's why you recorded in high FPS anyways. Then... I'll go here, render, and I upscale with FFmpeg, but if you're too lazy, go to custom frame size and choose like either 4K or 2560 by 1440. And then have all these. Ooh, set that to NV encoder though, if you have an NVIDIA graphics card. And high quality, blah. Make sure that's on best. And yeah. Okay, so after finishing everything up in Vegas, I render in Vegas in 1080p, and then I will upscale with FFmpeg, and I will upscale that to either 2K or 4K, just depends on how much time I have. And that will give a good result on YouTube because YouTube, after like three, four, maybe eight hours, maybe even a day, sometimes YouTube's really bad about it, but YouTube will give the VP9 codec, which is so much better than the AVC1 codec that YouTube has for generic 1080p videos by small content creators. And the VP9 codec is so good compared to that, and the quality is just amazing. Just rendering in Premiere, it, it like, the result will be really disgusting because Premiere's frame blending is so bad. Like, I've done tests, I can put them in the description, but side by side, Vegas's frame blending is so much better than Premiere's. So this is why I do all the extra shit, and this is why I haven't really released my renders, because this is very complicated. So yeah, that's my render settings. It's really complicated, I know. I did not want to release them for this reason, because holy shit, it like, to explain everything, I have brain damage now, or something. I don't know. <laughs> holy crap. The downloads for everything, OBS, the upscaling script, and whatever else I may find will be in the description, so... Hopefully everything made sense. If not, uh, fuck.